I work on the railways, and I can't say I always find it romantic. It depends what your job is, I suppose. I'd better tell you a bit about it, and then you can judge for yourselves. The minimum wage is four pounds four a week. But here in the local depot, you start at a little more than that. Engines come into the depot at the end of a run to get cleaned up ready for the next trip. As she waits her turn to be cleaned, you have to drop the ashes from the smoke box and clear out the embers from the firebox. The superheated tubes get all bunged up with soot, so they have to be cleared out too. We do this with compressed air or steam. In most places, we load coal into the tenders by machinery. It's a great improvement on the old-fashioned method which used to make coaling one of the dirtiest jobs. A great number of men are employed in the local depot. Some start here and never leave it, for there's no end to the number and variety of the jobs. Boiler washers, fire lighters, shed laborers, all sorts. The man who has to scrape the clinker from the inside of the firebox has a very unusual job. They only let you do this for 10 minutes at a time. Regulations won't allow any longer because of the heat and the lack of air. You'll find it's quite long enough. Here's the driver with his fireman. They've come to find out which train they're taking out and where she's bound. Engine number 5066. They've got an hour to get her ready. After changing into overalls, they go along to the stores. Three oil bottles, please. They're on a good train today. The trip is more than 140 miles. It's a long run for the fireman, too. He has to throw a ton of coal for every 50 miles of the journey. And that's something like work. Both the fireman and the driver have quite a bit to do before they ever get to the station. They'll be responsible for the lives of hundreds of people, so they must make sure that their engine is in perfect run in order. This chap has been a fireman for 10 years. In about another year, he'll get promoted to driver. His name's been on the list for some time now. That's to make sure there's enough water in the boiler. On an engine like this, there may be as many as 90 points to oil. Most drivers do them in the same order, and everyone does it himself. It's too important to leave to anyone else. It's 35 years since the driver started as an engine cleaner. As long as your eyes stay all right, you can hold this job till you're 65. just give the sandbox a tap. You never know when the line might be greasy. A few more lumps to keep up the 200 pound pressure and then they'll be ready to leave. Driver's name, please. Osborne, no rope. We've got 14 on for 420 tons. 
Right-o. 